All right, we're back in black. I'm gonna see what I wanna do and in what order. I thought maybe I would install the window. Then it dawned on me that I don't have any of the screws. So I do know that I have some at my storage attached to one of my parts play fields. There's none on the one that's over there. Uh, and then I thought maybe there's a chance that there's some in here. So look, I figured it'd be much easier to search in Tupperware than this cardboard with the flaps. So I'm gonna transfer this over. Much easier to deal with. Ooh, dust. Oh my god, I'm putting on my mask. Just until the dust settles, I'm already stuffy as it is today. Okay. Hey, look what I found! Ha ha! That's one of them. Nine more to go. Oh! Eight more to go. Seven, six, five more to go. Dust bunny. Okay, I know for sure now that I will have enough between these guys and what I have at storage. So I did steal one off of one for Kevin. I'm like, oh, watch, now I'll have only nine. But, I don't know how many are actually left on that playfield. Oh, here's another one. Here's another one. How many black hole parts are actually in this guy is the question. Is this parts from one black hole or two black holes or, or what? Uh, oh, here's another do we have 10 yet? We're getting close. 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Boom. Cool. We got enough. And I'll just have to clean them up. Maybe I'll soak them in vinegar or something. Yeah. Okay. Um, <clears throat> oh, yeah. Here, I got a little Tupperware here. Again, obviously I've got a tumbler, but I could tumble those. I don't know, I'm just gonna try this. I've never actually soaked anything in vinegar before. Let's just see what happens. What's the worst that's gonna happen? Not a whole lot, right? So I'll just leave that for a while. Guess we won't be doing the window today because I'm gonna leave those soak until tomorrow. Uh, but. It's actually nice to have a window here because then you can put shit on the play field. So I'm going to leave that there. Okay. I am definitely going to bust out the tumbler, I think, because that is... Uh, probably going to be the easiest way to clean this guy. I don't really see another way. I mean... Wire brush, maybe, and my uh, my uh, zero um, steel wool. That could work because it would be kind of dumb to bust out the tumbler just for three parts, right? So we'll see about that. Okay, so where do I want to start? You know what I would like. I've been thinking about this hole here, and I'm thinking, is there enough space on the other side to put a T-nut? Because it would be nice to not just have to rely on wood threads. I would like to possibly go with a T-nut and machine thread. There won't be any of that in here, so I don't know why I'm looking. Oh, 
Remember yesterday I was talking about the little brackets for the wire forms? Like, uh, like this guy, for example? This is one of them. And I'll show you. I'll take you down. Okay. So this is what I was talking about yesterday. I'm going to unplug you too. I got you charging. That right there is someone's homemade version of this. And like I said, they did a good job. Here's what it looks like normally. Right? So this is doing what it needs to do so I don't feel any any need. It, it laps over just like the other one. Wraps over. So if I ever have a wire guide that I don't know has a weld break or something or one of the brackets break then I can possibly use these in a pinch too on different machines. Um, what else do we got in here? Oh hey another one of these uh, uh, roofs I forget what they're called I used to know I've ordered them a few times uh, anything else interesting use clip oh yeah no, I think I knew some it's one of the kicker arms like so in case I this one is not working because that bracket is bent well I've got that as a spare I believe that is a clip for here for installing the apron. That is switch. Good to kind of inventory this stuff in my head. Oh yeah, this is for the um, the clear plastic that goes right here, like so. Maybe I'll install the clear plastic. Oh no. Well, yeah, I could try and deal with this post, put this together, and then I can maybe, I uh, think I'd be ready to rubber. Oh, and maybe, uh, yeah, maybe it's time to put on my, my gates to clean up the one gate and install those. So that's what I think we're going to do now. Um, those things. Okay, so. How's that look? Okay. All right. I like this much better in this bin. You know, if I ever need in another game, I can always maybe repurpose these wires. Sometimes they're missing. My Bally Star Trek had one missing, but I had a Star Trek play field that I stole it from, so it worked out well. Oh, here's a, yeah, no. You know what I gotta do? One moment, I'm gonna grab something. Gotta remember, I got posts. No, no, that is the wrong. Those are spacers. Oh, look at that! It's actually what I was looking for. That I could use. It's a threaded post, the same style post, but threaded. The threads are not as thick as I'd like them to be, and I think this is a number six or eight, and. I'm rather use one step up an eight or a ten number of threads but that could possibly be uh-oh it wouldn't be long enough i don't think to get through the play field anyway that is too short so that is not gonna work um okay let me go grab something else Okay, sorry about that. I should really start editing the uh, dead space. Okay, here is my miscellaneous posts. This guy can just go in there. Would be ideal to have. Oh, what do we got here? No, that's the wrong style. Uh, oh, look at this. This would be ideal except again those are just not going to make it through the playfield enough 
and there's a drop target assembly is right close by so I don't know maybe I can make this work if I eh, I don't know that is really cutting it close it would be nice to have longer threads like I could almost just put this style post in there I mean would it look dumb I think as long as it's functional that's what's important you might not be original but that could be something that I might entertain because if I just go with something like this I don't know how long it's going to last. That's the problem. So I have to decide. Uh, so I will uh, report back on what my strategy is. I've also toyed with the idea of putting a star post here. Kind of covers up all the wear. It does make the opening possibly a little tighter though. <clears throat> so there's that either way i think i'm going to go threaded through the play field so here goes nothing and that's how you drill through a play field don't be scared <coughs> it's okay um okay well you want to see me the watch the continue the shenanigans continue? Okay, fine. Uh, let's find a post here then. Why am I going through this? Oh, here we go. Nice threaded post. I might have to drill that out more, like so. Think I can twist that through, or. Do I need to drill some more? It's going through, I think. Yeah. Is it going to make it through the other side, though, is the question. Let's see. Oh, shit. Just barely. Okay. I think I might be onto something here. I think I could probably live with this. Yeah, that shot's going to be a little bit tight. Tighter than normal, but... You know, I think that's going to be okay. I think it's the lesser of the two evils. Uh, so, just want to make sure I got a good looking post here. Actually, it's not bad. This one's good. I'll give this a little wash. I like this strategy because it covers up the wear and it's going to last a lot longer and if I just go with what was in there the same shit's going to happen I could fill the wood up flatten it, sand it all that good stuff but it's just going to bash over time this has a much greater chance of withstanding the test of time now I just need to get a T-nut Tea nuts, where are my tea nuts? Come get your tea nuts. Alright, found some tea nuts. Oh, I should have checked the diameter before I put it on. But so what I'm gonna do is turn the tea nut upside down and screw like so. Because this I don't have pre-drilled into the play field underneath. And this is, I'll be able to snug it to the play field nicely like that. I've done that many a times. Let's see. I could technically flip this play field upside down and then you could see all the excitement of me trying to attach this T-nut, which I'm telling you right now is not going very well. So, oh. I think I have the wrong thread. That's why. Okay, let's go for a smaller thread. No, that's a smaller T-nut, same thread. That looks like a smaller thread there. See? 
See my nuts? <laughs> I think the hood point is a little smaller. Let's try that one. Okay. Come on there. Catch, will ya? <gasps> yeah. Oh yeah. That's snug on there. Now I just gotta get the pliers and crank it. Crank it from underneath. I'm really loving how this is going so far. Okay, tighten this guy. Uh, I know you can't see F all. Probably can't even hear me. That's not going well. Okay, I'm gonna just remember to tighten that from underneath. Uh, once I have the rotisserie flipped up, so you can see what the hell I'm doing, grip on it better. Where did my nut driver go now? That's probably right in front of my face. Okay. I love that solution. Oh, hey, 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 hey. Of course. Now, beautiful. That is just great. I'm thrilled with that. Yeah, so it's going to be a little tougher to get your extra ball and your special and back up to the bonus lanes. But not by much, by like probably a quarter inch at most. That is okay. I can live with that. Totally. Okay, so. That mission is now accomplished. Let's, uh, let's deal with this guy right now. Just need to find my heart. Okay, so, got a few I can choose from. Ah. One is cracked right here. I don't know if it's focusing. One is chipped, but this one is good. So, we just need to drop it through the hole. Okay, so now I need just my uh, little dish of water there and my magic eraser. Clean this guy up. Oh, I'm gonna have to install my first rubber then in order to install this. This rubber has to go on first. So that means I gotta go get my bin of rubbers. And commence the rubberage operation. Okay, so that's clean. We'll uh, dry that off. With this guy here. Voila. It's gonna go like so. This I should probably just throw in the garbage. I don't think I'd ever see the need to use that. Okay, I'm letting her go. Got to back up just in case. Um. Okay, no, I'm not going to let it go. I probably should, but I'm going to throw it in my miscellaneous lane guides pile. Okay, that's where it's going. Case of serious lane guide emergencies. Oh, yeah, look at this. That's kind of cute. It's like homemade or something. Okay, um, I guess I am going to get my rubbers ready and my uh, one-way gates ready and then I'll be back. Okay, I got my rubbers out and looking at the manual, you can see that I don't know if it's focusing or not, but what I need is a C. Uh -oh. Right here, it says C. So if we go over here, we see that C, which tells you what size rubber it is, right? It is size A-10219, you need three of them. Isn't that nice and convenient for Gottlieb to not tell you the size? So you go to the website, the internet, internets, and plug that number in, 
Marco pinball pops up and it tells you it's a one and a quarter inch rubber. So let's see what we got. One and a half. That's not it. That's not it. My clippies. This is a fun bag. Colored clippy posts. Uh, shooter tips. I got one red one left. I'm gonna have to get some more from Eddie at the Drapple store. I like my colored shooter tips. They were fun to use. <clears throat> is this okay? That's not it. That's not it. That's not it. That's not it. Not. 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 Oh, of course it is the last bag. Of course. <clears throat> Has to be the last bag. I don't know, man. I'm not even sure that one and a quarter sounds right all of a sudden. And that seems kind of small. I was thinking it looked like a one and a half. But... Yeah, it's one and a quarter. Okay. So this is tricky to do because... Uh, I hate the ones where you gotta do two posts, two posts to one rubber kind of at the same time. All right, so I got everything I need there. I need my screwdriver. <clears throat> and so what I do normally is, well, I don't even know for sure how well this one's gonna catch because that was the one that was stripped. But I got the longer screw. So that should be okay. So now we gotta go like this. And this flat edge goes along the switch. And do that. Remove this. Put the rubber on. Remember these are the two tall posts. I think these might be the only two tall posts. Oh, this is the strip hole. So this is the one I have to worry about catching. I hope it does. And then we'll kind of secure all the other stuff. Let's see if this even catches first. Oops. I did have to kind of do a pilot hole. Seems like it's going to be okay. Now for the fun part. Stretching the rubber while holding it in place while attaching everything else while screwing and hoping that the screw catches okay that should be lined up and the other thing is just the way this is oriented you can't adjust the switch from the top side so you either have to just hope that your switch is nicely adjusted or remove it from the underside and adjust it. No, you can't do that because as soon as you put it back up, the way the rubber rests on it changes. Oh, I screwed my finger in there. Ouch. Okay. That is, yeah, it seems a little tight, but stretch it out a bit. It's just like a 10 point switch. I kind of feel like I might have used a one and a half on my other black hole. Okay, that's actually okay. Uh, it's just, it's gonna have, the ball's gonna have to hit it somewhat hard in order to get your 10 points, so. But I will adjust the switch. <clears throat> I might as well do it now. It's nice to have multiple different angles of switch adjusters so you can get in all your nooks and crannies let's see what do i want to use for this probably this guy here so i'm gonna make it pretty close so that you don't need to smash the rubber in order to get your 10 points oh that's like touching That's the one thing I don't like about this style. 
set up <coughs> on there's only one here on this game though so nice and easy on this okay that I'm gonna live with until we get into play testing mode and then uh, I will throw a ball at it and see how hard I have to th throw it to register it okay so also what I do after I install all the rubbers usually more than once is clean them all with rubbing alcohol because I'm using dirty fingers sometimes they're not that bad right now but uh, they will just from handling them they get a little bit black so I clean them all up uh, just to make sure that they stay white okay well I guess it is time to do some rubbering. I don't think I'll make you watch that because that'll be boring. Because I have to, just like the last time, go and research every part number before I can know for sure what is the correct rubber size. But oh, I should have wrote that down in the manual. C equals one and a quarter. There's gonna be two more of those. So where are the other C's? One C here. One, that's a G, but that's no longer going to be a G. I changed that post. Uh, oh, I wonder if the way you're watching this, this is all upside down on the TV. Maybe if I was like that. Oh, I might be upside down this whole time. Oh, well. Is this better? No, that's probably upside down too. Anyway, sorry about that if we are upside down. But I'm just looking for a C. There's another C right here. So that is going to be, can you see? Can you see? Right here, it looks like. Yeah, I think so. Maybe I'll just install that while I've got them out. I don't know if you can see. But the way I read it, that this is a one and a half. I mean, one and a quarter. Okay. And then there should be one more C somewhere else. Here's a C. All my stuff is in my own way. Okay. So that is, where did the C go? Right here. Oh, between here and here. Ah, uh, okay, okay. So what I'll do then, is put this here like so, and then when I install these lane guides, that's what I gotta do is find some good lane guides. Um, I wonder if I have, be cool if I had blue, but I don't think I have, I don't think I do. Um, so let me um, go do some rubbering check in on these lane guides and these uh, one-way gates and then I'll be back. Okay, actually I should zoom out and show you that I've got everything rubbered. This thing went on well. I did all the lane guides at the top. They're the most annoying. Um, like just Again, this kind of situation over there. Well, there was only one, really. It wasn't that bad. Uh, I guess part of the annoyingness was that... Uh, let's just take you over there. On my black hole, there's the threaded post on all four corners. On this black hole, these two back ones were flathead screws, but I checked, and the plastics do have holes to slip over these. So the plastic rests over top and then you put your nut over top of that. So maybe somebody messed with it, maybe it was factory, maybe whatever. It worked the way it was, I'm guessing. But so I had to add a T-nut to this guy and then I had to change these guys out. So just to get all of that the correct way. Oh, and then I cleaned and installed the uh, one-way gates. And I'm about to install the clear plastic, like I mentioned before. Here's the parts to do that. Oh, I'll show you the uh, 
Here's the old plastic. Here's that old bent one-way gate that can probably go in this pile now. And extra lane guide, you can go in there for now. Okay, so uh, yeah, let's uh, yeah, I think that covers everything. So everything's rubbered. All the switches are adjusted. Um yeah, all three lane guides, actually five lane guides total are now installed. And yeah, I'm kind of getting close to being done the top side, aren't I? What's left? Plastics, but I'm not going to do that till the end. Window. And holy shit, I just realized I'm darn near done the friggin' top side. That just means I'd have to do the bottom side, which will be a lot of work. Um, I'll probably take a black hole break after finishing the top side and have fun with something else. Maybe my Dracula. I'm not sure yet. Is this got film on both sides? Doesn't feel like it. Or is it? I can't tell at the moment. Yes, there is. So yeah, that means all I'll have to do is the bottom side of this play field, and then I can bring in one of those beautiful cabinets that Kevin did, then do all the components in the cabinet, fuses, bridges, caps, wiring, make sure that's all the way it needs to be, and then... Uh, I'm off to the races. I've got a friggin' all-in-one circuit board for that guy. So I won't have to mess with all the uh, old electronics. Although I do have a set all shopped up and ready to go from Brent. Okay, so these guys are cute. Whoa. Let's see. So we go this way? No. We go this way. So this is the bottom. And we just kind of pressure fit this on like so boom sticks on like that and then do the same for these guys I like this design easier than having to solder and desolder those metal bell posts good job Gottlieb you've done good here okay so there's that and then three screws Okay, what's left on the top side? I mean, there's no real sense installing the pop bumper caps, the flipper rubbers. I'm going to rebuild them all. Kind of dreading that. It's one of my least favorite things to do. So, let's see. Drop targets, pop bumpers, and flippers. There's enough of those on this game. So that that is going to take me some time, obviously. That's okay. I'm so near the finish line, sort of. Kind of like one uh, checkpoint at a time. So this this checkpoint here, top side play field, is nearing the finish line. So that excites me. Boom. That is now done. I'm not going to bother cleaning the rubbers yet. This one uh, is especially dirty. But, yeah. I should check on my um, screws for the window. This is a decent window. Maybe I will clean it. Mm, you don't have to watch that. That's not all that exciting. But, uh, yeah, that's some good progress. Okay, well, I decided to jump the gun, pull my screws out of my vinegar solutions, check on them. There's still a little bit of crust on them, so... Glasses, put on the glasses. And... Probably shouldn't do this over the playfield, but oh well, I'm going to vacuum it probably several times. Hey! One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. 
Oh, shit. Oh, here. Eight, nine, ten. There we go. All is well again. Okay, let's see what we can do here. Boom. That's all I needed to do. Crap. Am I upside down again? I'm going to have to uh, learn how to not be upside down. But this is probably okay. If I'm reading a manual, it's probably not so okay. Boom. Okay, I'm happy with those now. So I cleaned one of the windows, like, but I just felt that one was a little scratchy. So I went and cleaned this other one. Started with magic eraser and water, and then I novice the crap out of it. And I like it. So now we're going to install the window using brand new foam washers from Pinball Resource. Thank you, Steve Young. I did this already on the other black hole there. They come on a little sticky tape there. So one side sticky. You wanna line those up to the holes. The camera's in the way of my head. And then you can see they're actually higher than the play field is. So you just compress them down until you believe you have a nice flush window to the play field. That will uh, make for a nice play on the game and you won't be wearing out your edges. These I believe were 40 cents each US. So four bucks US to um, redo your window. Pretty cheap and improves the play of your game, especially if the ball's catching this edge and jumping in, into the space and also prevents wear along your edges. So they're in. And I'm going to have to clean this a couple more times. I wasn't going to install it just yet, but I realized when I do the um, underside of the play field and I'm setting my tools down, last time I didn't have much space to set tools down because I didn't have my window installed. Now, when I flip the rotisserie over, I will I can actually you know put a cloth down and have some extra space. It'll be, it'll be my little tool window. Okay, so... We need to, so there's beveled edges on this side of the plastic so that you can countersink these screws flush to the plexi. So make sure you put it right side up. And did I get the right screw sets? Uh, Allen key. Looks like we are good. Okay. So, what I'll do is probably fast forward this process, okay, right about now. Thank <laughs> you. 
Okay, so this one screw is stripped. Hopefully I didn't strip the inside of it, I'm trying to get it in there, because that would suck, but I do have more of these just not on me, so that's slightly annoying. Um, but trying to get this thing perfectly flush is also a little bit of a trick because you got to make sure the screw head is set flush to the plastic and the plastic is flush to the play field. So sometimes when you ease up on the screw, yeah, the head sticks out of the plastic a little bit. So it's definitely um, a little bit of a challenge to get everything perfect, but I'm going to settle for damn friggin' good. I'm pretty happy with this. Not happy with that, but I will head over to storage at some point and grab me another one of these. So, yeah, Windows installed, minus one screw.